Hi, welcome to a quick walk around video for our Honda Insight. It's a solid red, um, as is the way with Honda Red. It seems to come like it from the factory. Different panels seem to react slightly differently to the paint. So I would say that looks a little bit darker than that. Like the door handles look lighter than that. It's not been an accident or anything like that. It just seems to be how Honda Red is. I mean, you might not even notice it at first glance, just where we see a lot of these things, I can pick it out. So I'm just making you aware of that before we before we get going. Um, right, 16 inch alloy wheels. They look in reasonable condition. Just a little bit of uh, sort of moisture getting under there causing a little bit of corrosion, but in general, not too bad at all. Indicators in the wing mirrors. Uh, privacy glass you can see starting there, going all the way around the back. Rear parking sensors just down there. Open up the boot. Nice big boots. I'll try and operate this one hand, see how I get on. Yeah, not too bad. So that's present, the load cover. You have like a false floor here, got a little hatch for you to access your everyday bits. In there is locking wheel nut. And then there's uh, wheel brace and sponge and whatnot. We'll leave all that in there, of course, spare wiper blade. If you want to access the whole lot, you pick up that tab there. And then there's all your bits and bobs there. There's a uh, canister of the gunk for filling up a spare um, tire puncher. But there isn't a compressor, so I will pop one of those in there. If you come to buy the car and it's missing, just let me know, because we've, we've got spares of these, but if I've forgotten to put it in there. But I should do that straight after the video. the exterior. I'll show you the roof as well. All right, let's have a look inside. We'll start at the back. Electric windows in the back. Child locks are just there. Uh, like a gluey grey sort of cloth, two tones, sort of darker here and more blue here. Got your isofix points for your two outer rear seats. If you're not using the middle one, folds down gives you an armrest with two cup holders in there this comes over to presumably make a sort of proper three-point belt you've got some curtain airbags just up there if you can see the logo you've got grab rails and you've got lighting for the back there as well good leg room because it's uh, quite a big hatchback little magazine holders here and you can see side airbags on the front seats there as well uh, no mats in the back. I'll take you around the other side, which is obviously much the same, but just so you get the full picture. But the seats are in lovely condition. Um, no rips or tears or indents or anything. All look good. Moving to the front now. Electric windows in the front, of course. You've got an airbag cut off for this one here. But I don't think that, no, it doesn't have ISOFIX points, so you'd just be using a traditional seatbelt mounting for that if you were to put another car seat in there. No mat there either. Driver's got one though, it's a rubber, sort of heavy duty one, but that's the only mat in the car. Uh, airbag up here, glove box there, not a huge amount going on. Pop over to the driver's perspective now. So four electric windows, door locking and window locking. 
there's your owner's manuals. I'll include a picture so you can see exactly what's in there. Uh, you've got a seat height adjustment for the driver's seat as well. That again is in superb condition, like no wear on here at all. Looks really good. We'll jump inside now. So electric mirrors, they're power folding as well. I'll do those just to show they're working. Yeah. Everything working as you should there. Your economy button if you want to use as little fuel as possible. Traction control, turn your parking sensors on and off there, and your headlamp aims there. Uh, auto wipers, and yeah, auto lights. Got a multifunction leather trimmed steering wheel. It's got flappy paddles for the automatic gearbox. Cruise control just over here. This one cycles through the options on your onboard computer. And this one changes your volume and everything for your radio and switches tracks and stations. There's the mileage, as you can see, 80,210. So that's, uh, that's really low mileage actually for one of these for the year. There's your odometer. There's your radio. So that's got FM and AM, no DAB. CD is a single slot there. And the auxiliary and USB. So the auxiliary point is just there, just underneath the radio. The auxiliary is in the um, armrest. We'll get to that in just a second. Little cubby hole there. Got your aircon controls just here. Aircon's blowing lovely and cold, not in need of a regas or anything. It's, it's really ice cold. So there's your cigarette lighter, another cubby hole, cup holders, heated seats, there's your automatic gearbox. There's your traditional handbrake. There's the armrest, inside which is the little cable there for the USB input. Other than that, we've got airbags up here, vanity mirrors here, lighting controls here, regular mirror, doesn't look like a rear, um, sorry, an anti-dazzle one, just looks like a regular one. And that concludes just about everything that I can see on this car. Um, if I've missed something, please just phone up and we'll check for you straight away. Obviously, I'm going to include as many pictures as I can of the inside, the outside, and any paperwork we got with this car. So if you're from distance and you want this one delivered, you should have a really you know, clear and transparent idea of what to expect when the car arrives. If there's anything at all you're not sure about, please just phone up and we'll, uh, we'll go through it with you. Uh, if you're local to us, and obviously you can pop in and check it out for yourself, please do so. Just ask you to make an appointment first. Okay, thank you very much for watching.